Hey guys, welcome back. So it's been requested a couple times to show you guys how I store my wax. So I figured that I would make this video kind of just a quick video on how I store my wax and where I store my wax. So I have this closet in the hallway that um, I've just kind of taken over. <laughs> um, I have some like little collector stuff up top or whatever, but it's mainly wax. So I usually just keep my... Um, I usually keep my cut loaves up on top of this box here, and this box is full of Sassy Girl Aroma, fresh scents, like pink sugar, or any type of like uh, fresh scent would go in there. Um, this box is just kind of random. It's got some random stuff in there that I probably need to go through. These two boxes here, keep I keep like singles or like smaller scent shots in or whatever. This one here is for bathroom scents. And then the one in the back is kind of just like a mixture, but it's a lot of scent cups and whatnot. Um, this box is full of scent cups. Uh, I need to start melting some of those more. I do have a bunch of stray um, bakery bags because I need another box for them. I just cleaned out a box that they were in and I put all my super tarts, or not super tarts, but all my stray super tarts in there. So these two boxes here are all super tarts. Um, let's see if I can show you guys. So yeah, I just, it's like, I think I can fit 10 to each row and same for the bottom. I have them organized to, I can't remember what's in this box, probably fruity. And then this one is like fresh, like the Omen and uh, Jaws blends and stuff. Uh, but there's a method to my madness. I just, <laughs> I don't know. So this one here is the box that I put all of the what I've been melting wax in. So I fill this up every week and do my videos on Sunday. Let me move some of this stuff down here. Okay, so this box I thought was super cute because it says dream big, darling. And I put all my um, sleepy time melts in here. You can see I got some Laveau. Anything really lavender scented that I really feel like would be good for nighttime, I just keep it in this box. Um, Underneath it here, this is another box full of Sassy Go Aroma bakery bags. These are all bakery scents. All right, down here are all the chunk bags that I don't have a box for right now that, because I took all the, um, I took them out of this other box. You'll see in a minute. So I gotta get a box for them. Um, th this is like Walmart wax that I just don't really reach for. This is full of Haley's Heavenly Scents and a few stray, um, like stray wax vendors just random i don't normally store by vendor i try to store by type of scent so this is kind of random scents like kim Rianne's or some sasco aroma just some smaller stuff that can fit in this box this is all fruity stuff fruity bakery bags fruity blends from other vendors and uh yeah so like fruity here bakery here fresh up there and then, um, well, for super tarts, I do, I should, I keep them in like a certain order in the box, but it's mainly those stay together because they're easy to store. So these two down here, these do not usually stay in this closet. Well, they don't stay in it at all. They're actually downstairs. Um, they stay in this, uh, like there's this like wooden piece of furniture in my front hallway that, or my entryway that I just put these in. And I just go in there, I have a bunch of bakery scents that I like to melt downstairs, it's a bunch of Sassy Girl Aroma. I have a lot of Camera Ann's down here, some Sweet Sage. Um, same with this box, this is like a bunch of random stuff that I really should just melt, like you know, some of these only have two pieces left. Um, some Old Primitive, what else, some Haley Seven Lake Scents, some Dessas, just like a mixed variety that I can look through and reach for what, you know, just whatever I'm in the mood to melt downstairs. I usually keep these downstairs just because um, I don't normally melt like fresh scents or anything downstairs. It's usually bakery. So, sorry, you could probably hear my kids singing in the background. Um, this, I keep like a little thing of like cups here because I, I do hot pour my wax. So, I just like keep these up here so I don't have to go downstairs to get any. This bag is full of front porch singles. This little box here just has a bunch of stuff that needs to be cut. I need to cut these into four pieces. I need to cut this load, these loads. Just a bunch of stuff that eventually I'm gonna have to cut these. So 
there is that okay so that is all for this closet out here sorry for the lighting um for the most part these are all in or i store all my wax i store all my wax in the original packaging that it comes in unless it's like crappy or something but um, I just keep the, keep them in these little storage boxes that I buy at Joann's or Michael's. I find that up where I'm at, I get a lot better luck finding them at Michael's 50% off and stuff. Um, and then when I go to Florida to visit my mom, I always go with her to Joann's and buy some because they always have a um, better selection. We don't actually have a Joann's here. So anyways, this these two boxes of wax are for my friend. I just kept them in the hallway for right now. All right, so... I have this box here. These both are under the bed. This one here is full of wax that is I would consider curing right now. So you know, some of this is most of it's from June or um, late uh, May. So I do some of this is ready to go. I gotta go through it again. But I just put it in here. It's pretty full right now, so there isn't enough room for me to add anything else. This is the box I was telling you guys about that I um, emptied out the bakery bags to fill with some super tarts. I'm hoping I can put another layer in here, but I'm really good. I think I'm really going to go to like Walmart and get one of those plastic storage bins that everyone else uses for their super tarts because I just have too many. So I organize by like scents. So this is like all magically delicious right here. And then like pink sugar, or I'm sorry, it's, uh, Fresh picked strawberry scents are like right here. I try to organize them like that. Citrusy scents here. Um, minty scents over here. You guys get the idea. So there, there is somewhat of a method to my madness. <laughs> These two bags are just that I usually keep them into the closet or in the closet in the hallway. But I took them out so you guys can see. I just need to get a box. Um, this is all like sweet sage scents. I've ordered in the last month that I need to put away or use <laughs> and then I have another box or a little bag of Wilma's wax I just need to get another storage for those so that is that now moving on I have some more storage in my bathroom closet this is um, this is that box that has a lot of older wax that I've referenced in my what I've been melting video for um, like some of it's from like August of last year. This is all Christmas or winter scents, but I don't really melt them a lot. Even in the winter, I don't really melt a whole lot of wintery type scents. This is all fall. The stuff on the top, I desperately need another box for that too, because this one is filled to the brim. I love fall scents, but, um, I just need to get another storage unit for that. So, all right. So this is laundry and this is laundry I don't know why I decided to store it in my closet um <laughs> like this normally I would just kind of put it in a little box but I just I think I had these laying around decided to put them to use so yeah I've got some laundry blends here um some laundry day you guys already know laundry day laundry day laundry day laundry day clearly I'm obsessed with laundry day from old primitive these are, it's just my favorite. So I got, um, these are like big enough to store, um, loaves in. This, these, this, this bag is full of those loaf bags, the polypropylene bags. So, and then I have like a random extra warmer right here. So that is this closet. So I think that's all that I have for wax storage. Like I said, um, I've got the ones on my bed or under my bed and then just it's mainly just this wax closet here is the biggest one so that is what I do with my wax when I look at it all on this video I'm like oh my god what why why do I have this much but you guys already know if you're watching this video you already know that um, wax is an addiction so could be a lot worse so <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you got some ideas on how to store your wax if you were looking for some ideas or whatnot. And um, anyway, see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.